Today, we're going to discuss an exciting new AI tool, the News Reporter AI Agent. The primary purpose of our News Reporter AI Agent is to automatically monitor news events and send summaries directly to your email. This means you'll always be up to date with the latest happenings without having to constantly check multiple sources yourself. So we're going to be setting up the News uh, Reporter AI Agent in a very simple way. We streamlined the process to a one-click self-hosted solution using a popular AI automation tool called N8N. We'll then uh, create an account on Open Router, uh, which will give you access to Perplexity's online models. We'll talk more about that. And these powerful models uh, can then allow us to understand and summarize uh, up-to-date news. And we'll then, uh, after the setup, uh, build uh, the workflows, and we'll do a, a, a detailed walk uh, walkthrough of the nodes involved in this automation. And finally, uh, once everything is set up and built, the deployment is very straightforward. We simply turn on the scheduling feature, and your news report AI agent will begin its work, and it will automatically scan for news at predetermined intervals and send you summaries to your email. So let's get building. So let's take a motivating example. So in this case, this is a output of the AI agent once it's deployed. So you see here a Gmail that is sent at 7 a.m. And this uh, email uh, has the results of the research that the news AI agent has run. And the event that we're looking for is a labor dispute uh, uh, on the East Coast that affects a stock investment. So this has some key developments that it's found, uh, some key stakeholder positions and the market implications. So it's done all this research automatically for you uh, and an email is sent uh, on a uh, daily basis. All right, so the first step to build this is to set up the NA10 uh, automation tooling. So there is a, a very easy one-step click uh, deploy. So I'm in uh, this railway.app. Uh, this is a cloud service provider that has a template that I've built. So in here, uh, you sign up for an account, and then you just go to deploy. And this deploy will go ahead and it will create all the necessary components for you to uh, build this NA10 uh, workflow. So this uh, takes about uh, five minutes to uh, do. But uh, uh, once it's done, um, you'll be able to uh, get this tool up and running. Uh, this does require you to sign up for the hobby account, which is about $5 a month. But uh, it makes things uh, very, very easy to do this automation. So now the NA10 instance is uh, deployed on railway.app. Uh, the other step that we need to do is set up an account on openrouter.ai. So openrouter.ai is a platform that provides access to multiple large language models uh, in a very unified way. So it allows us to uh, very easily switch from uh, whether it be a, a closed source provider like OpenAI or open source like um, the Llama models. Uh, it gives you uh, one very easy way to access all the different types of models. We'll be using the Perplexity online models. So if you go into Open Router, uh, you'll be able to see uh, Perplexity. So in this case, we have, uh, we'll be using the Llama 3.1 series. Uh, so uh, th the unique thing about Perplexity is that these models are also have access to the latest information through uh, their web crawling and indexing technology. So uh, by using this particular model, you not, not only get access to a large language model, but also access to their web search capability. So this is quite a powerful uh, ability. So uh, go ahead and get access to uh, create an account at openrouter.ai, and then uh, create an API key uh, that we'll be able to use. All right, so let's dig into the build walkthrough. So in this build, we have four nodes here. So on the left node is a scheduled trigger. So this tr schedule trigger uh, will happen every day at 7 a.m. So at 7 a.m., it's going to wake up and it's going to trigger this workflow. The second node is our news reporter uh, AI agent. So this is uh, the node that is going to do the heavy lifting. So we're going to go into here and we're going to see uh, what uh, how it's structured. So uh, in this case, we, uh, we we set the event that we're interested in. So what is the latest news for the strike event uh, that I mentioned, and then uh, use the markdown language as the output. So the agent itself, how it, the prompt for that, if you go into here, it builds upon uh, what's uh, default, and then it adds this. 
So your experienced investor researcher, your primary function is to continuously monitor and analyze news updates about a specific event or topic. And then it goes into more detail, asking the agent to provide a concise summary of the latest developments, and then goes into further details on how you want uh, it to output the event, the topic, the dates, and uh, the tone that you want uh, the agent to, to uh, reply in. So then uh, most times what you'll do is you'll just update the uh, event you're looking for, and then uh, the rest uh, you keep uh, the same. Now, so this is the prompt for the news reporter. And now I'm going to click here on the large language model. So this is the large language model that we want to use. So here uh, we have created a uh, credential from the API key from openrouter.ai. And the perplexity model that we'll be using is uh, this one here. So it's uh, uh, one that is using an open source model uh, called Lama uh, 3.1, but it also has the online capabilities. So this is ability for um, the online searches so that uh, it's uh, built in to get the web searches as part of uh, what the large language model is uh, is aware of. And then you just have to change the, or the, the base URL is pointing to the openrouter.ai, which is the service here, right? So that's how we uh, hook up the news reporter to the perplexity online model uh, through open router that uh, we've set up. So after the news uh, reporter is uh, finished working uh, and getting the summation, uh, the output is in Markdown language. So Markdown is uh, just a way, a textual way to uh, provide styling. So uh, we then want to take that Markdown here and then just convert that to HTML, which is needed for our Gmail node. So in this Gmail node, we'll take the output from the Markdown into HTML and send it uh, to my email address here. So let's go ahead and run this workflow. So it's going to uh, run through this and uh, it's going to think through uh, what it needs for the specific event. And then after it iterates through here, it's going to then uh, run through the markdown, which converts uh, this event to uh, HTML. And then from there, it's just going to send uh, a Gmail. So you can see here as it's running, uh, it's uh, working through multiple uh, iterations. So you see it's, uh, it's calling the, the large language model uh, at least two times to uh, get all the information that it needs. So in this case, it's calling three times. And so it's going through this uh, loop, getting information uh, about that news event. And then after it's finished, uh, then it's going to uh, output, uh, output to the markdown. So this is going to take a, a couple of minutes, and then we'll, we'll come back to this. So now the uh, AI workflow has completed, and let's take a look at the output. So it's uh, sent us an email, and we produced the, uh, the output from the AI agent. Finally, now that we're happy with the workflow and it's producing the uh, type of information that we're interested in, all we need to do is set this to active. And every uh, day at 7 AM, now it's deployed. So let's wrap up. We've designed a very uh, simple but very powerful AI agent system to monitor uh, news events that we care about and send alerts to us on a regular basis. This process is super friendly, super easy with one-click self-hosted solution template with NA10, as well as using Open Router to access uh, Perplexity's online models. Uh, we built the system end-to-end -end, uh, visually, and we're very uh, simply able to deploy just by activating the workflow after we're done. Thanks for watching.